Christmas, everybody. Now, this is a song originally done by Slade, of course. It's uh, huge here in the UK, but I'm basing this uh, tutorial and my lesson more on the Noel Gallagher acoustic version, which is in a different key to the original. It's much easier to sing and the acoustic guitar is really prominent in it. If you want to play along to the Slade original version, just put a capo at the fifth fret and all the same chords work. You can learn this tutorial, play the same chords, capo fifth fret and everything works fine. <laughs> I also just want to tell you about loads of exclusive Christmas song tutorials and free Christmas songbooks all on my website andyguitar.co.uk and on the Andy Guitar apps. Many are 100% free, you just need to log into the website to access them. Others are premium but you can currently access them with a 10 day free trial of all my premium courses all on the website so you can get all the Christmas songs and my beginners course and absolutely everything I've ever done free for 10 days and if you choose to continue it's just 9.99 a month again to access absolutely every premium course and lesson i've ever done so i really hope you check that one out guys let's get on with this song tutorial the verse begins on a d major chord to a d major seven we can play that with a flat first finger as a bar or kind of play it as an a major chord down a string we then go to an A major chord, and that's all the verses. Are you hanging up your stockings on your wall? Optional, uh, A sus4 to do the kind of the little recognisable part from the Slade version. Are you hoping that the snow will start to fall? Then for the pre-chorus, uh, in the UK we tend to call this a bridge, it's G to a D chord. Does he ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does it turn upon his sleigh? I always default to using this G major with four fingers, but you can use three fingers, absolutely fine. Either one's totally valid. After that G to D we have E minor, G major, and then A major. Again, optional kind of A sus4 to A major as a little optional. Do the fairies keep him sober for the day? Kind of helps build it up. Let's look at the strumming pattern now, which I'd recommend uh, defaulting to down, down, up, up, down. And that is with swing. So this is the most common strumming pattern ever but with swing, which means we need to delay the up strums. Down, down, up, up, down. Very different to down, da, 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 da. Which is a straight rhythm. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. I've got lessons on that. Swing versus straight strumming. Really important, so check that out on my website, andyguitar.co.uk, if you're struggling with that kind of thing. If we do that strumming pattern for a bar per chord, that would sound like this, and this would be my recommendation to everyone when they're first starting off with this song. After that, you can have fun with it, but go for this first of all. Two, three, four. the verse and that was a bar per chord. It's then the bridge pre-chorus, G to D, E minor G, then A. One, two, three, four. every chord for a bar of each there should be no problems with any of that just a little bit of practice and you'll get it uh, we can have some fun with that a sus2 section which would be like this I 
uh, just a little bit more like the original. That is on the up strums. I won't dwell on that too long. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. And that chorus is a D major, D major seven, F major seven. So this is an F, I call it an F like a C, because it's an F, F major chord, but it's shaped like a C, and then to the A major chord. That happens twice, and um, with the strumming pattern, that will go like this. Simple version, just stay on the F, and then to A. So let me do that one more time because uh, that ending of the chorus is basically the introduction of the song as well. So let's make sure we've got the basics of the chorus and then I'll talk you through some cool stuff for the intro. Play along in one. So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Look to the future now. Two bars of F. Just begun. One more time. So here it is. Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun. Look to the future now. It's only just There isn't one chord in that chorus that we would want string six ringing out for, which is why I've got my thumb creeping over the top and muting that string. And that allows a very comfortable position on the neck, especially if we have a nice slim neck like my signature acoustic guitar does have big nylon string necks. That's really difficult to do, so just be careful with that one. As I mentioned before, the ending of the chorus is also the intro to the song. And uh, as a default for both the intro and the end of the chorus, easy way, two bars of the F major seven to two bars of, well, one bar of the um, A sus four, and then one bar of A major, so. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But every version of this amazing song always very clearly has a walking bass line, which we can do on guitar as well. So this is walking down a C major scale from an F note, F, E, D, C, and then it's the open A string, and that goes like this. And then the song would start. We can do that walking bass line while holding down three notes from a C chord, so a C triad. Uh, this is where your first finger is on a C major chord anyway. We only need that first finger down and play the root note. So get used to that first of all keeping that first finger down, and then just strum from that root note all uh, the thinner strings. So every string. And then when we get to the open A, it's A sus4 to the A major. That's the intro of the song, and also Look to the future now Just begun Only other section of this song is this What would your daddy do If he sees your mama kissing Santa Claus? Ah, Now this is different in the Noel Gallagher version, so that's exactly how it's played in the Noel Gallagher version. The chords are D minor to a B flat major, uh, which you could play like this, but it's pretty nasty on 
all acoustic guitars. It's probably the hardest chord on acoustic guitar that commonly crops up in songs. Nice easy way of doing it, do the same chord but don't bar. Uh, go to the first finger, uh, first string, first fret, one, 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 one. So it's there for a D minor and then three in a line like that. And then it's C major, if you want to be clever, C over G, and then an A major. What would your daddy do if he sees your mama kissing Santa? Ah, ah, ah. And then we're back to a verse. That is all sections of this song. Let's have a play along together now. Join in with me. We'll go for intro, verse, chorus, so you get an idea of the song. And I'll also show you that middle eight in context as well. Two, three, four. Are you hanging up the stock? It's the time that every Santa has a ball Does he ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does it turn upon his sleigh? Do the fairies keep him so Kissing Santa Claus uh -huh. Thank you for watching this video. Remember you can check out loads of exclusive Christmas song tutorials with chord sheets all at the website andyguitar.co.uk and on the Andy Guitar app as well. We have Christmas songbooks available for download. Some are 100% free, you just need to log into the website. Others are premium, but we're currently doing a 10-day free trial where you can sign up for this free trial and then get all of my premium courses, like absolutely everything. Try it for free for 10 days. If you choose to continue, it's currently $9.99 a month. I hope you check out loads of those. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Get loads of Christmas songs under your belt and I hope to see you in the next video. Does he ride a red nose reindeer? Does it turn?